Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into our channel again. Today I'm going to do a little test for you using the spectrometer again because we had so much good feedback before when we did the spectral analysis test on the cheap Amazon glasses and also the Blue Block Sleep Plus glasses. So we're going to do it again today, but slightly different. I am going to spectral analyze night shift mode on uh, an iPhone with the spectral analyzer. And I'm also going to test my MacBook that I'm speaking to you on right now that has blue light reduction mode switched on through Apple. So very similar to the two Apple products here. I'm gonna test them, see if they do enough to protect our circadian rhythms. Before I get into that, I would super appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. We're seeing some great growth on the channel, which means that we can do more and more of these videos. It keeps us going, keeps me coming on here because it's a great use of, of my time to be able to educate everyone who wants to learn about blue light and provide all the evidence out there. So if you can hit subscribe below, share this video would be super appreciative. So let's get into today's conversation. So what I'm gonna do first of all is explain to you that after sunset, we need to block, as a lot of you will already be aware, 100% of light between 400 and 550 nanometers. The reason we wanna block in that range is that Buckhart et al in 2001 clearly showed a relationship between light in that zone hitting our eyes after sunset and a disruption of melatonin, which disrupts our sleep. Very important to block within that range. Even if a small amount of light in that range gets through, it's still gonna disrupt your sleep. So you have to make sure you've got optimal eyewear and optimal protection. Now, during the day, you don't want to block blue light. You just wanna filter it down by about 30% in regular individuals. Those are the sensitive to light, migraines, photosensitivity related issues like anxiety, depression, stress, things like that will benefit from maybe 50% blockage of light during the day. So two very clear distinctions here of filtration of light during the day, which is optimal of the blue spectrum. Violet, not so much, because it's not so heavily found in backlit digital devices. So you've got to focus on the blue. And then after sunset, you need to eliminate all the blue, and most of green light between 400 and 550 nanometers. So let's get into testing, first of all, my phone has night mode on and here's a spectral analyzer so i'm going to do a little test of the light in this room so that is the light in this room right now very balanced because i've got the window open in front of me here natural light is streaming through and as you can see sunlight's beautiful completely even in all the colors great for our health you know the blue keeps us alert and awake during the day there the red offsets any of the uh, the damage that caused by the um, blue light from the sun during the day, so it all counteracts each other beautifully. So what I'm going to do is I've got night shift mode switched on my phone right now and I am going to test it and see what happens to the spectral report on this. So here we go. There you go. That is night shift mode tested on an iPhone. So as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of reduction in blue light, which is a good thing for during the day because we're getting too much blue light by staring at all these different light sources like MacBooks, smartphones, LED lighting during the day. So if we can limit some of that exposure by using some of these apps during the day, then it's gonna be beneficial for our health. Obviously it's beneficial to get outside and get that natural sunlight, which I showed you on this um, analyzer earlier. But as you can see, there is a good reduction in blue light from night shift mode on the iPhone there. Now, that's great for during the day, but night shift mode is a bit misleading because Apple designed it to be used to lower blue light, eliminate blue light, and obviously some of the green, as we know, which should be eliminated after sunset to help people sleep. Night shift mode, if you're not wearing blue light glasses, is not gonna help you sleep at all. Blue light is coming through, green light is coming through. You can see that very clearly here, um, and that's still gonna disrupt our sleep. So another hack that you can do is actually turn your iPhone screen red. And I've got another video on YouTube which you can look up called How to Turn Your iPhone Screen Red. So I triple click that button there, and my phone screen is now red. So if I run a spectral anal analyzer report on that right now, perfect for after sunset use absolutely no blue or green light and that is the way to hack your phone better than night shift mode you see night shift mode had that blue and green light coming through no good for after sunset night shift mode great for during the day to lower blue light but when the sun has set 
you need to switch over your iPhone or your smartphone to red mode, which you can see in the other video that I've done on this YouTube channel, and then that will help optimize your, your sleep and melatonin level. Obviously, you know, these are little hacks for the smartphone, but you still gotta remember that blue light glasses are important as well, simply because you're gonna have other light sources you can't hack as easily. So number one hack there, let's, um, let's now take a look at my MacBook. So I'm gonna put my phone down there. Let's, another spectral test. Back to here we go again, okay? This is the lighting in this room right now. So now I'm gonna test the Mac. There you go. And that's with night shift mode on, or low blue light load on my MacBook. Look how nasty that is, right there. Look at that horrendous spike in blue light. Um, you can obviously see a lot of the green coming through, not a lot of red, so it's really not done too much. Now, during the day, night shift mode is, is well worth having on your Mac, it really is, but you might wanna use another bit of software like Flux or Iris, which will get you better readings from a spectrometer. But this is why it's so important not to rely on apps from these big corporations, because you might think by putting night shift mode on your MacBook whilst you're working, you're eliminating blue light or at least reducing it down a lot. But you're not, it's very clear from the spectral analyzer report that you're not filtering it down by hardly anything at all. So during the day, that's not gonna help the digital eye strain. You're gonna need blue light glasses to, to filter that through and don't become reliant on those apps. This is completely no good for after sunset use um, for obvious reasons. I mean, look at that blue and green. That's gonna tell your brain that it's daytime, that it's, you know, keep cortisol levels high and also you don't need to um, release melatonin. So you've just gotta be very careful with these apps. And this is why I wanted to come on here today and speak to all of you about that because you know so many people say to me i don't need blue light glasses i've got night shift mode on my phone and it's like well yeah that's that's great for during the day it's not great for after sunset and also there's many more light sources that we need to hack like our lights in our house our fridge lights car headlights coming through you know your tv all very difficult devices to, to be able to hack so these hacks are good if used correctly but they will never replace blue light blocking glasses and they'll never replace better applications like Flux and Iris and other similar softwares that you can put on your MacBook as well. So I hope you guys found that really useful today. I know I certainly did. I wanted to test this for a while. Um, and if there's any other videos you'd like me to do, please comment below. Also, let me know if you want me to spectral test anything else. I'm more than happy to jump on. I'm a geek. I love using this device. And what I'm going to be doing now is I am going to be going outside and getting myself some of that beautiful balanced sunlight as you can see there. So much better than what you just saw on that MacBook. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please do subscribe below and please share this video so we can start spreading the truth about blue light and educate people on what to do to maximize their health. Thank you so much for stopping by guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Love and light and stay safe.